Hey guys, welcome to Children's Church. It's Uncle Terry. Uh, yesterday you guys were with Pastor Abel and you learned a lot. Um, today we're just going to continue and talk about a certain topic that I shall reveal soon after our prayer session. Now, um, can we all put our hands together and bow our heads and pray? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time of devotion that you have given to us. Thank you that Lord Jesus we are here together healthy and you are protecting and providing for us. Thank you for this word that we are about to uh, learn about to help us Father God to open our ears, uh, open our hearts Father God and learn from you and know what you would want for, for each and every one of us. Thank you Father God for loving us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. to learn about today is the parable of the lost sheep i know some of you may know this um, story but uh, today we're going to be focusing on what it really means for those who do not know and we're not just going to focus on the parable but we're going to focus on the whole chapter does anyone know where we find this parable in the bible okay um if you guessed Matthew or if you know if you say Matthew 18 the chapter Matthew 18 uh, specifically verse 10 to 14 of the of the um, lost sheep so but we're going to uh, focus on the whole chapter Matthew 18 so that we understand it is important to sometimes not just read a part of the scripture but to also read the whole chapter so that you understand where they are coming from what they wanted to do where uh, what point uh, the Lord is trying to drive or the Lord is trying to bring out for you so now uh, Matthew 18 at that time the disciples came to Jesus and asked who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Verse 2. He called a little child and had him stand among them. And he said, I will tell you the truth. Unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of uh, heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And I'm sure all of us are children it does not feel good having um, no knowing that God uses us as an example right so you see over there the the the, the people were asking Jesus which one is great then now God God then said whoever becomes whoever welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me right but if anyone causes one of these little uh, ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a large millstone hung around his neck and allowed to drown in the depths of the sea. That's how important the Lord uh, values children. Right? Water the world because of the things that cause people to sin. Such things must come, but woe to the man who, through whom they come. Sorry. If, you, if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, you need to cut it off and throw it away. Right? How many of us are, are, are free to cut our hands off? Do you think you can cut your hand off? And if it is better for for you to enter life maimed or crippled than to have two hands and two feet and be thrown into the eternal fire it is jesus was saying it is better for you to cut off your arms your or, or cut off your tongue if it's making you sin than to uh, go to heaven with all your body parts that's he's not saying cut yourself but he's just trying to show you how important it is to avoid sin at all costs right now and if your eyes causes you to sin gouge it out and throw it away right seems very graphic and very disturbing but that's again the imp the importance of not sinning or how 
how much God dislikes sin, right? Now, we get to the parable of the lost sheep. See that you do not look down on these little ones, which is you. If I tell you that the angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven, what do you, what do you think if a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away? Will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, I tell you that the truth, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way, your father in heaven is not willing that any of his little ones be lost. Now, as you can see, that's a shepherd over there, and then that's his sheep. And then now the shepherd finds out that, okay, the sheep is one of the sheep are missing, right? Just one. You see, because he's counting his sheep and he knows, a good shepherd knows all his sheep. He does not just think, oh, I think I have 80. He knows if it's 81, it's 81 sheep, right? Now the shepherd is worried because he's, he's looking for his sheep, left all his sheep to go and look for that one. Most of us will be like, okay, imagine if you have a hundred sweets and you lose one. Would you leave your hundred, your 99 sheep, that's Matt's, 99 sheep unattended to go and look for that one, uh, not, 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 not sheep, sweets. If you would you leave your 99 sweets unattended to go and look for that one sweet that you lost, most of us would not. I know I wouldn't, but a good shepherd is, su is supposed to do that. Because every sheep is worth a lot to that um, good sh shepherd is now looking, going up everywhere, is looking for it, and then finally finds his uh, missing sheep, and then happy takes it to his 99 sheep. So just like this, God wants, uh, loves every one of his children everyone so one thing we need to we should not look down on anyone we should not look down on any one of our kids or anything because you, it it is clear that god says he loves everyone equally now what did we learn okay we learned that everyone is important to god especially the kids right god is saying that if you cause kids to sin it's better to to throw yourself in the sea do you see how much god loves the kids right so everyone is important so when you are in church don't think our church is for grown-ups we can go outside and play you'll be hurting god's uh, heart because you god wants you to be in church god wants you to be in church I, i'm not going don't tell your parents that i say this but god wants you to be in church more than your your parents more than anyone else he wants you to be seated there listening to him listening to his word worshiping singing to him singing praises and you know him blessing you he wants to be with you so when you are next time when you are at church or sunday school i don't want to hear any of you running away from sunday school now um god um another thing we learned is a good shepherd is willing to do anything to get his lost sheep right you saw that that shepherd was doing everything that he could to get his lost sheep. He went over mountains. Mountains are difficult to look for. And then he finally found that one sheep. So even when you see your friend doing something wrong or just say doing something sinful, you need to make sure you bring them back to Christ because God wants you to be just like he's a shepherd to you. He wants you to be a shepherd to your friends. He wants you to be when you also become uh, adults. You, he wants you to be a shepherd to to your kids as well, right? So that's why um, that's why God gave uh, Jesus gave us this parable so that we can learn about that. And then the biggest, the last but biggest lesson was God is our shepherd. So never worry because god is our shepherd and he watches over us at all times that's all that we had to learn today thank you very much for uh, attending us 